What's up guys? I was just watching the recent men's doubles game between Canado and Martin against Asan and Setiawan, and towards the end of the second game, when the score was meant to be 18-17 to Asan and Setiawan, the umpire got the score wrong. This can sometimes happen in badminton, when the umpire might make a mistake, or sometimes when the board comes up with a wrong score, but I really don't get what happened in this game. It took almost 10 minutes for the game to continue after the error. The thing is, both pairs immediately agreed the score was 18-17 and corrected the umpire. But instead of just correcting the mistake, the umpire thought that she had it right. After a few minutes, she even said to the players, it's not 17, when it clearly was. And what I don't get is why it took the tournament referee to come over in 10 minutes of time to make the simple correction. There was a point where even when they came to a conclusion that the score was 1817, they couldn't correct it on the digital display where the scores show up. It's just really poor. You can see the look on the faces of the players when they know they are right. They play badminton every day and are in the game. When both pairs agree on the score, basically 100% of the time they are right. And I get that the umpire needs to make sure of that, but why isn't there a way of quickly checking that? Can the umpire just not even double check with the service judge or the line judge? Because I'm pretty sure they would have all known the score as well and are just waiting like everyone else. Another thing, the players tried to have a quick knock up before playing again and that wasn't allowed either. They've just been playing a crazy intense match at a massive tournament with thousands of fans in the crowd and all of a sudden they have to stop. And I know this affects both pairs the same but it shouldn't have to be that way and it definitely would have impacted the match. Hassan and Setiawan won the first game 21-9 and were up in the second set. They went on to lose the match, and I'm not saying they would have uh, won without the long break, but I'm sure those rallies would have played out differently. It just seems like such a massive and silly mistake to make. I mean, these are players' careers on the line and tournament money. I just hope the PWF looks at this and this doesn't really happen again, because it's something that just shouldn't happen. Anyway, just something that happened at the Singapore Open, and I wanted to show you guys if you haven't already seen it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and what your thoughts are on why this took so long. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one.